Hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me for this intensive lower impact core and balance workout that will help build all over total body strength. Just 10 exercises of head to toe work. Don't forget to comment. I would love to hear how this workout went for you. Grab your medium to heavy dumbbells and let's get to it. <laughs> all right, hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me today. I have a 40 minute total body workout with a very good core focus. We're gonna be balancing, we're gonna be stabilizing today, okay? And I have a wonderful finisher for your equipment. I have a uh, single 45 pound dumbbell, kinda heavy. We will be using it for squats and for deadlifts. So if you have a heavy weight there, grab it. If not, we'll use two dumbbells for those. I have a set of 15s and 20s as well. All right, we're gonna get warmed up with leg swings. I do want you to focus on balancing. So if you have to hold on to the wall, fine. But I prefer if you can get away from the wall, draw that navel towards the spine and swing here and find your balance. That would be best today because we're gonna have a lot of balancing going on, some rotation. We're just gonna really work the core along with our body and all of our other muscles. So it's gonna be a good, good full body here today. There we go. Give me five more, five. Four, three, two, and one. Keep that head towards the ceiling, switch sides. So I'm not leaning here. Stand tall, swing at the hips. Five more, you got this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. We're gonna swing up onto our toes now, trying to stick it, to stick it and stop that momentum. We're gonna draw that belly button in towards the spine again. So push your hips back. Swing to the tops and stick it up on those toes. There you go. Push the hips back, drive them forward and stick. All right, I want you to really swing here so you you're forced to stop the momentum with the core. So you gotta squeeze your glutes, maybe squeeze your shoulders tight. Draw in here at the, at the belly button, in and up. There you go, good. Give me three more, that's three. Woo, two, stick it. And one, nice work. We're gonna go two bumps. Elbows back, all right, really squeeze those shoulder blades together, pinch them together, and then we're gonna round out, drop the chin, palms out, good. Two bumps, palms out, round out, good. You can hold this one long for a little, a few extra seconds if you want, if it feels good. Nice work, good, that's it. All right, we're gonna round out and reach and, and get long through the spine just a little bit more here as well. All right, so we're gonna come down and I just want you to look between your legs. You might have to bend your knees to get down here. You might be able to do it with straighter legs, but I really want you to kind of bend a little bit, get deep here, look between. Then I'm gonna have you come up to your shins or wherever you can um, that enables you to flatten your back here, okay? I want your head extending towards that opposite wall there, bottom back, good. We're gonna round out again, come in, fold over, and then extend long through the spine there you go doesn't that feel good let's do one more round out and down fold over however you want to think about it and then let's reach extend nice work bring those arms out give me a little back bend here all right arms together we're going to open up now a little rotation through the thoracic spine here other side we have some rows with rotation as well so just thinking about our workout today moving through little rotations, little movements that will help us get there. And then we're gonna, oh, it's about a minute 30. We need to bring up that heart rate as well. So we're gonna start with some lunges, three-way lunges here. We're gonna step forward with me, please, back to the center, to the right, okay? And then let's go into reverse as well, so right behind. So forward with that right leg, out to the side. Let's go reverse. Now let's go with the other leg, forward, lateral, Reverse, good, just alternating again into the forward, lateral, reverse, good, other leg. Just alternate those three positions, okay? Give me one more round, one more time around the world, <laughs> and back, good, forward, lateral, reverse, and let's jog in place, here we go. Pump it up a little bit, move those elbows, okay? Bring them back behind you, move the arms. We're just running in place. If you wanna run forward and back, that's great. We're almost there with 24 seconds to go. We're gonna start with a little bit of weight, but this first one, you can take body weight, okay, body weight. 
So I'm gonna go with 15s. Please feel free, we're on a single leg here to find your balance. Let me show you this without weights real quick. We're gonna lunge forward and we're gonna push off with that front foot and stick it, okay? We're gonna stay with the right leg. Three, two, and one. Here we go, so step forward, push it back, stick it with the knee high, finding core stability and balance, all right? Back down, do it again. If it's too much here, you can just go for a forward lunge and bring that foot back. If the balance isn't there, that's okay. Get a good leg, get leg workout for me there and don't worry about the stick and the balance. We're just doing 30 seconds on this side and then we're gonna go into an upper body here. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Weights down. Follow my lead. There's a lot going on in this one. Find your high plank. Bring your left arm down, left arm up. All right, we're gonna do a push up. And then I want you to laterally walk to the side. Here we go, right arm down, right arm up. Give me a full push up, knees or toes. Walk it out. We're here a minute, okay? Left arm down, left arm up. It's leading us into that low plank, high plank. Give me a push up, knees or toes. Walk it to the side. I'm crossing my hands here, right down, right up. You can just walk it over. If you wanna just step it over, feel free to just step it there, okay? Left down, left up, push up. I like to cross my arms over to the side. Here we go, right down, right up, push up. Step it to the left. Left down, left up, push up. Good, step it to the right, right down, right up, and push up, good. Only 10 seconds rest here. We're gonna keep moving today. We're going up or to lower. Left leg now, forward lunge with a push off. Here we go, and stick to the, for to the front there, whoops. Gotta draw that navel and squeeze your glutes, stick it. One side <laughs> may be better than the other. Not a good side here for me. Here we go, and up. Focus, draw it in. Again, don't start with weights if the balance isn't there. Focus on just getting your balance and stability and working legs. If it's not there, even with no weight, just work your lunge here. Step forward and back. Give me one more. Good job. We have a squat. We're gonna do an eccentric, eccentric, lowering slow. Got my big weight here. We're gonna lower down for five counts. Five, four, three, two, one to stand. Now, my weight is kind of big. I'm not getting as deep as I want to go, so I'm going to hold it here. One, two, three, four, five. And up. One, two, three, four, five. Up. Good. Keep it going. We have a minute here. Three, four, five. Up. Good job. Nice and slow and controlled. You can do this without weight. Lightweight, whatever it takes so that you can have control and you can move very slow on that lowering phase here. Three, four, five, up. One, two, three, four, five, up. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Good job. Find your weights for that lunge again. All right or no weights at all, we're going right into it, yes, okay? Just 10 seconds in between. We're gonna keep moving and working here. So just do your best. If you're new to the channel, channel just getting on your fitness journey, go body weight, shorten the um, intervals a bit. So this is 30 seconds, maybe shorten it to 20. Try to allow yourself some extra rest time. See if you can stick this. Don't just fall back into it until you have your balance. Get your balance, then go. All right, rest, nice work. Weights down. Remember that dynamic plank up, push up to lateral walk. Lots of core in all of this, okay? Here we go, high plank. Left arm down, left arm up, push up, walk it to the right. Here we go, right arm down, right arm up, push up, walk it to the left. Left down, left up, Push up, that's it. Just keep working here at your pace. 
You'll find your rhythm again. That push up can be from the knees. Find your toes, walk it back over. All right, there you go. A little walk, yes. Yes, we're working chest. We're working shoulders. We're working a whole lot of core muscles here through the trunk. Really tough, right or left down. Make sure you're alternating that lead arm. So on one of these, your right arm should be coming down and up and finding that push up. And then on one of these sides, your left arm should lead down, up with a push up. Good. One more, down, down, up, up, three, two, and one. Great job, left leg, here we go. We have three rounds here. Step forward with that left leg. Come up, find balance, stick it, good. Notice my foot is up at 90, toes are up as well. So I'm not dropping or letting it flop down here, okay? Lift, lift there. Right at the hip flexors, woo, bring it up. Toes up, there you go. Work on that lift. That's it, keep going. Again, I want balance before you find that forward lunge again. Don't just fall back into it all sloppy, okay? All right, good job. That's rest. Grab your weight for those squats. Here we go, three, two, and one. Spread your feet a little wide, toes out so you can make space with your weight. We're going down for five counts. And up, here we go, count out loud. One, two, three, four, five, up, one, two, three, four, five, up, one, two, three, four, five, up, good, one, two, three, four, five, up, good, one, two, three, four, five, up, good, one, two, three, four, five, up, 15 seconds, one, two, three, four, five, keep that chest up, bottom down, one, two, three, four, five, and up, Woo! good work, team, all right, weights, left leg, oh, sorry, right leg, here we go, three, two, and one, step forward, we're back to the start, last round, stick, there you go. As we tire, our core is gonna tire. Our muscles are gonna get a little tired and shaky. Squeeze those glutes, draw that belly button in. Hold it and breathe. Find that stick, woo, and balance. And then go again. If you've lost it already, don't hurt your knees. Don't do a wobbly stance here. Just forward lunge without the push off. Just stick. Last one. And up. Great job, here we go. We're gonna walk it out with those dynamic plank ups to push ups. Core, core, and core. It's not all about the crunches. Here we go, left arm down, left arm up. I wanna push up, some sort of push up, toes or knees. Walk it to the right, either way you want. Right arm down, right arm up, and down. I'm crossing, you can just step those hands to the side. Left arm down, left arm up. Here we go, push up. Over to the right, right arm down, right arm up. That's my uh, Oprah, excited Oprah voice. I love it, left arm up. She's usually giving gifts. I'm giving, oh, the gift of health here <laughs> and strength. There we go, Jump down, cross it over. All right, okay, and up, good. Sit up to the right, right arm down, and up. And press, good, come on. Left arm down, left arm up. Feel the core, my goodness, and press, good, rest. Woo, high five, great job. We need to get that other leg in. Left leg, left leg. Here we go, three, two, and one. I know I didn't give us very much um, rest time in between this, because we're going upper to lower, but I understand if we're just getting started, that heart rate can kind of spiral on us, especially by the third round. And then we're having trouble focusing and breathing and finding our balance, finding our strength. So please pause some more if you need to. Once you have the routine, the rotation, you can move at your own pace by reps. Maybe you do eight to 10 reps and move on. 
Last one here, stick. Great job, squats. Here we go, this is a little leg intensive here with only one upper body, but we're burning those calories. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, and up. Who feels that? One, two, three, four, five, chest up. We're gonna do an RDR or deadlift, um, just like this two later. So make sure that we're not glute hamstring dominant. Bring the hips down, keep the chest up. I wanna see your pretty face. There we go, right, okay? Let me see those beautiful faces. All right, good work. If you think I don't see you, I do, no. If you comment and you're talking to me and you're opening that line of communication, I see your face, I see all of you. And I love it, so don't forget to leave me a comment today so I can add you into my group of people over there with me getting and grinding through this workout. All right, five slow counts. I know I stopped counting, but you know how to count to five, four, three, two, and one. Hoo -ah, rest. All right, 45 seconds. Typically, I give us a minute. Oh no, not today. I'm gonna keep us moving. Grab a sip of water. All right, so another knee lift here, RDL. You can use weights or no weights. You might need to hold on to something, that's okay. We're gonna go into our RDL. I'm gonna use two dumbbells. We're gonna come up, knee stick again. Core, core, and core, okay? You have to think about it. So don't go too heavy with the weights because if you're worried about the weights, you're not gonna be able to think about drawing in, bracing, squeezing the glutes, all the things you need for stability and balance. Then we have a one arm row to rotate. Just a good old row here, but we're gonna add a little core rotation into it as well. All right, grab your weights. I'm going with 15s here, here we go. Right leg back, back, left foot down. Find your RDL. I want that tabletop back parallel to the floor. Bring the knees up, hold. Find your balance. If the balance isn't there today, and that's all you're working on, put the weights down. Don't use the weights, but work on it. If it's still not there, find your kickstand. Your foot is back just a bit, and you're gonna still hinge and come over to tabletop and up, but with that foot down to help you balance, okay? Great job. All right, here we go. I'm using a 20 here for my rotor rotations. This is for reference, start light. All right, right foot back. Here we go, we're gonna row with that right arm. Rotate open and back, good. Row, open, down, release, good. That's it, we're gonna go 30-30 on this one, okay? That's it, rotate. Back down, it's a small rotation. I'm gonna, it's two movements. I'm gonna row and then I'm gonna rotate open, okay? So I'm not using momentum on that row. Switch sides here for me. Row with that left arm, open up, look towards me. Good, back down. Here we go, row, open up, down. I love doing this one with a band or a cap, really a cable machine. If you're at the gym, put it down low in front of you at an angle, great one. So row first towards that rib cage, then open up. It's a small open, not much. Good, you'll feel it. Good work. Bring it up. Three, two, and one. Great job. We have that RDL again with a knee. All right, right foot forward this time, okay? Left foot is finding, is going to move up behind us. The body moves as one. Here we go. Lift it up. Level with the back, back level to the floor, whoop. Bring it up, knee up, stick it, good. Here we go again. On that right leg, we're down on that right leg, that foot is flat. Big toe, little toe and heel planted into firm, into the floor. That knee is soft. A lot of times they get people, they lock this knee out and they try to bend over. Let the knee soften, let it bend as you push your hips back and then follow up through. Great job. Take practice, don't get discouraged. Use a chair or something to reach out to to get used to it. Grab your big weight again. I told you we'd be doing an RDL. We're kind of a deadlift here. We'll see how much we bend. We're gonna push the hips back in five, four, three, two, one. Shoot the hips forward to stand, good. Push them back. Shoulders are way down and back from the ears. Three, four, five, and up. So we're just gonna come over, let's go in that RDL like we were, one, two. So I want a tabletop here, three, four, five, and squeeze the glutes to stand, okay? 
One, two, nice and slow. Three, four, five. So about mid shin or so, stand up with it. Squeeze, one, two, squeeze the whole way down. Three, pull the navel in, four, five. Head is in line with the spine, not here, okay? Bring it down in line with the spine. And stand, rest. Nice work, you made it. All right, we're back to that RDL. Left leg planted. You're doing awesome. Two more rounds. Here we go. Good, good core strength in this and balance work. Something you want. I highly recommend uh, using body weight until you have those two things and then you can add the weight, okay? Don't push it, don't rush it. If it's a challenge for you, you're where you need to be. No need to jump ahead and add a lot of weight if you're still learning to balance and stabilize, if that's still work for you. There you go, lift that leg up behind, level to the floor, back level to the floor, parallel to the floor. Give me one more, one more. There you go, nice work. Let's row, let's row and rotate. Grab your weights, again, 20 for me. You might have more or less. Watch that rotation, bend over here, nice flat back, shoulders out of the ears. Row up towards that rib cage. Give me a little, turn towards me, give me a smile. There you go. Row, look at me, smile. Nice work. That's it, good control. No swinging. So I could do like a lawnmower row where I'm like swinging and using my whole way. I really want it two separate movements. Don't rear back, stay at that angle that you have with the body, but just open up. It's a small movement, very small. There you go. You got it, oops, switch sides, switch sides, row, rotate. I really got into that one, I forgot to switch here. <laughs> it's having so much seeing your smile, having so much fun seeing your smile there. <laughs> All right. Hey, the, my, the imagination is a powerful thing, okay? You think I'm crazy, but I can see you in my mind. I can paint that picture. There we go. Give me one more since we went a little bit over. One more here, one more. I took you just a little over on that other side. Whoa, there we go. Nice work. All right, going back to my 15s. Here we go, right foot down. Left foot comes into the air, but it follows the body. Bring that left knee up, stick it, good. Oh yeah, remember, if that balance starts to go, no shame in finding your kickstand, okay? Put the toes down, find that same movement with a flat back. The other reason to start light on this is we really want to have the lumbar nice and neutral. We don't want to be tucking our pelvis. And sometimes we need to work on that before we start adding weight so we can stay injury free. That's rest. Here we go, find your big weight. Again, you can use two dumbbells here and work with two in your hands. You need some heavier weight. All right, we're working. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, squeeze those glutes. Come to stand, good, nice and tall, but don't lean back. We're not doing a back bend. Five, four, three, two, and one. Weights are right over your shoelaces, okay? One, two, three, four, five, squeeze to stand, good. One, two, three, four, five. Head in line with the spine. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Good, neutral lower back, that lumbar. There's a natural little curve there, we're not tucking, and up, woo, there you go. Come on, anybody feel that, I know. Three, two, and one, stand, nice work. All right, one last round, okay? Left foot in front, here we go. As we tire, as our core stamina goes, we may need to put that kickstand into effect. We may have to put that little back leg down. Don't worry about it. I'd rather you get something out of your strength for now, okay? So, work on balance, though. I do want you to work on this. It's, we need our stability. We need balance. There we go. But maybe you had it the first two rounds and now it's tired. You'll work up endurance. Woo! Rest on that one, nice work. Let's get a row in. We're almost there. I'll try to watch that 30 second point halfway. Here we go, flat back, shoulders down and out of your ears. Angle down, I'm putting my hand on my knee for support. 
Row, look towards me. There you go, good job. Row. Another thing I noticed, let's just go through some of these things. A lot of people tend to curl their wrists up under them or they start to pull that weight up under their body like a curl. Bring that elbow straight back, okay? Straight back at the ribs. Eight seconds here, just in case I forget to tell you to switch, you know it. Here we go, three, two, and one, switch. All of this is slow and controlled, slow and controlled. No momentum, all strength. Here we go, and rotate open, oh yeah. It's a small movement, but it feels good. It's good work. Oh boy, the next sweat is coming. It's dripping from the chin. All right, feels good. Not a lot of cardio, but don't you worry. Here at the end, oh, I've got a doozy for you. We will bring it up. Three, two, and one. Rest, awesome work. Weight down. We have that other RDL. Right leg stays, left leg flows behind. Here we go. Find that tabletop, bring that uh, back right parallel to the floor. Bring that left knee up and stick it. Oh yeah, it's getting harder. Who's wobbling a little bit more now? Poor stamina, starting to fail. <laughs> we'll be okay, we'll talk about that on our finisher. And up, you got this. Sometimes removing your shoes helps just a bit here in finding your balance. Those toes can find the floor and your heel. Three, two, and one, rest. All right, last eccentric. Um, RDL here, grab that weight, shoulders down, out of your ears and back. Let's go, five, four, three, two, and one. We should look like a table here with that flat back. Come to stand, good. Push those hips back, one, two, three, four, five. Don't forget to let those knees bend, soften those knees. I know we all have tight hamstrings. We do not want to lock our knees out on this, okay? That might force us to tuck our tailbone. We want that neutral spine. Three, four, five. Weights over your shoelaces and up. So I'm not holding that weight way out in front of me. Five, four, three, two, one. To stand, good, 14 seconds. Let's get a couple more in. Three, four, five, to stand, Woo! one more, one, two, three, four, and five, yeah, all right, 45 seconds before we start our countdown, the beautiful thing about this finisher is that you can work at your own pace, all right, we're going to start at two reps per exercise, we're going to go into four, six, eight, we're going to work up as long as we can for eight minutes, that's all I put on the clock, that'll get us to our 40 minute with a five minute cool down here, okay, so 40 minutes total for this workout, do the best you can, start with me, change it up if you need to, if you want to make it low impact on these burpees, we'll do a step out. So let's all take our first one as a low impact. If you want to stay with that, you can. If you want to find the high, you'll find the high with me, okay? For my weights, I'm going to try 20s for a while. We'll see. If you're feeling a lot of core on this right now, like lower back and stuff, I would suggest going a little lighter, okay? A little lighter, play it safe because we're getting tired. And in this, the reason I put this in is this is all total body. Core is much, so much engaged here with this thruster and with our burpee, all right? All right, let's start with our thrusters first. We're gonna go for two. Find them, find the weights, put them at your shoulders here. All right, two of these, you're gonna squat to press. One motion, here we go, squat. All right, that's two, put those weights down. We have our burpee, we're gonna start low impact, we're gonna step it to the right. We're gonna come down, we're gonna walk it out, out, in, in to up. All right, step it to the left, down, out, out, in, in, up. That's two, okay, here we go. We're going up to four, all right? Again, I'm using 20s, four squat to presses. If your weight is light, you can pause at, um, after the squat and make it two, um, two separate exercises. So you would go squat, pause, press, okay? Mine are a little heavier, you want heavier for this, and try to do a fluid motion up, to reset, that's two, here we go, two more, three, good, one more, four, Woo! good job, four burpees, I'm gonna take it high this time, all right? So find your burpee with me, down, if you're gonna jump it, you can stay with the low impact that I showed you, 
bring it in. And from here, I want you to kick this leg into this one and tap it over and land right. Then down, in, over. Good, here we go. Two more, down, in, kick it. It's like, I call it a tick-tock, okay? Just pushing that right over. There we go. Nice work, one more. And up, that's four. Here we go, six. Okay, we're adding two on at a time. Grab your weights. Again, I'm gonna keep moving. Move at your pace here for the eight minutes. If you don't get as many in, that's fine. If you get more, great. All right, you know what this is. You know how to do it. It's thruster and burpees, that's it. Adding two, here we go. Six thrusters, squat to press, one motion, reset. Good, make sure that weight's right up over your shoulders, not out in front of the body. That's two. Good, here we go. And up, three. If you follow me for long enough, if you train with me, you know I love thrusters. As a finisher, they're great, total body, or sometimes as a, um, I think we have one to two more. <laughs> Do Make sure you're counting over there. I might be doing extra here. Woo, you don't have to just because I did, because I messed up. There we go. Ah, the thing about that thruster, this is so good total body, but you can use it as activation you know, or integration, getting the upper core and lower body working together. Here we go, let's start down with that burpee. Out in, jump it or step it, kick it over, good. Two, here we go. Three, four, five, and six. Good job, let's do it. One more burpee there. <laughs> All right, good job, good job. I might have done an extra one there too. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go into eight. Here we go, thrusters going up. We'll see how many we can get in in this time. I think we're gonna do okay. We might even we might even go a little extra. You can stop at 10 or 12 if that seems like it's gonna be enough for you. Eight of these, here we go. Squat to press, one. Good, one motion. Come on, two, reset before you start that squat. Three, what do I mean? Get the, those dumbbells back down to your shoulders. Four, good, come on. Five, good. Six, seven, woo, and eight. Good, I stayed on task. I'm not gonna coach as much, you know what you're doing now. Let me count my burpees so we don't do more than we need to. I know none of you want to do that. Here we go, out in. Slide it over, jump it over. Here we go, two, over, three, over, four, jump, there you go. Five, it's more of a hop, a leap, six, seven, and eight, nice work. Woo, all right, heading for tens. I'm gonna grab a quick sip of water, 10 here. All right, again, eight or 10 might be your max today. We're gonna see what we can do. We have about 3.30 left on the clock. Here we go. Whew. 10, squat to press. One, good. Two, reset, reset. You got it. Three. Four, good job. Just breathing and counting for you. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Eight. Two more. Woo -wee. You got it, come on. Nine, use those legs. Don't forget about the legs. This weight is very heavy for the shoulders. You've gotta call on the legs and the core to help here. And 10, yes. Nice work. All right, here we go. You can go down to the ground on these with a push-up too if you want. I'm not gonna do it, we did our push-ups earlier. Just getting our heart rate up. Here we go, we're out and in for one. Out in two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, yeah, here we go. 10, 10 over, woo! Ah, 10 for 10, nice work. 
Quick sip. We're moving into 12. Only two minutes to go. Let's see if we can get it in. Let's work. Here we go. Squat to press. One. We're gonna move a little quicker. See if we can get this in. Two. Good. That's it. Come on. Three. Use those legs. Four. Who's feeling it? You can do this. Five. Stay focused. Six. Halfway. We're in countdown. Six. Five more. Five. Oh, we're gonna make it. Four. Woo! Come on. Three. Oh, two more. Oh, uh, two. One more. And one. Yes. Great job. All right, one minute to go. Let's get these burpees in. 12 of them. Count with me. Here we go. Out and in for one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Counting down. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Yay. All right. Grab a sip of water. We finished that with 14 seconds to go. If you want to go back into your thrusters, get a few more, go ahead. If you want to move on to more reps, go ahead. All right. Grab a drink. We gotta get this heart rate down. We only have a four minute cool down. All right, I know it's hard. I want you to breathe in through your nose then blow it out through your mouth. Here we go, in and out. My arms are tired, let's just go halfway with this. In and out, good. In and out. Right, come on, in and out. One more, in and out. Finding your breath, finding your breath. Now all the way up, in and out. Big breath, in and out. Good. Two more, in and out. One more, in. And out. All right, we had all those shoulder presses. Let's go ahead, bring that left arm across the body, shoulders down out of your ears, hold it here. Nice work, nice work. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm super grateful for your participation, okay? Don't just be a spectator though, okay? Go ahead and comment, don't be shy. Let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know what you're looking for. Let me know if you have any questions. All right, I'm here for you. I'd love to see your face over there. So uh, leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell because it will tell you when we're posting, which is Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. Go ahead and switch. We post all different uh, lengths of videos, usually ranging from 30, 40, um, up to one hour, okay? All right. I'm also on Instagram. If you wanna see the calendar there, I post it as well and what we're doing so you kind of have an idea. It might change from time to time, but it's there. Let's go ahead and reach behind, stretch out that chest, grab a towel. Let me just show you, for those of you who might be showing up on our, for your first time, grab your towel here if you have trouble interlacing those fingers and pull up. It gives you a little space to work with, okay? Feels oh so good. Stretch it out, chest back, there you go. Breathe, still finding that breath. That heart rate is still all over the place. Slow down, have a seat on a chair, sturdy chair, the floor, maybe even better. And just sit down and breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth, okay? Gain some control there. Control that breath, control the heart rate. Good, now if that breath is in check, we're gonna go ahead and if you have the mobility, we're gonna wrap around. If this is tough, grab that towel a little wider and try to wrap around. Good, come back up nice and easy. We're gonna reach back into a slight back bend after that. Breathe. 
good work. Let's go ahead and come down to the floor. We're kind of running out of time. I do want to get some leg stretching here. So let's go half kneeling position here. I want you to tuck your pelvis and push forward just a bit. Feeling that stretch down the front of the thigh into the front of the hips and your hip flexors there. Let's reach up and over. All that core work today, up and over. Good, let's bring that elbow inside the thigh. Push the elbow against the leg, leg against the elbow. Give me a little rotation here. Looking up, pull it out at me. Good, 15 seconds. We've got to hurry. Other side, tuck, lean forward. Let me know if you like longer stretching. I can also come up with some 10 minute stretches. You can spend more time on or 15 after our workouts. Reach up and over for me. We're gonna go just a few seconds over. Expect that when you show up for my workouts. You can leave when you, when you want, but try to get a little stretching in for me. That's gonna help keep you loose, uh, flexible, here and keep your mobility and hopefully help you stay injury free. Rotate here, elbow to knee, knee to elbow, push, look up or out at me. Give me a smile. My yoga instructor always says, I put a, put a smile on your face. It does instantly change things and breathe. Nice work. All right, that's it for today. I really appreciate you showing up and kudos to you for making time for yourself. I know it's hard. I know it's hard, but schedule it. Find that time every day. It helps if it can be the same time every day. See if you can do that. If not, at least get three days that are similar and a couple days that are different, but try to stay committed to the same so you can be consistent, okay? All right, that's it. I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.